Hi guys! This is the Unit 4 Lesson 5 Cool Down. Order up. For this cool down, you have to order the numbers from least to greatest. That means your smallest decimal all the way to your greatest. So, let's see, we have five decimals here, well, fractions and decimals. So I have five spots. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and add commas because when we list our decimals and fractions, we want to put a comma in between. So I'll switch the color of my pen so we can keep everything straight. All right. So when I look at these decimals, I'm going to start with the greatest. So I'm going to look at my whole numbers. I see a 3, a 3, a 2, a 2, a 3. So I'm going to um, ignore my ones that have a 2 to begin with. And I'm going to look at the ones that have a 3. All right, so they all have a 3. So I have to compare tenths. Okay, so this one has two tenths. This one has two hundredths, so it doesn't have any tenths. So that one is not the greatest. This one has a zero in the tenth spot, so it is not the greatest. Our greatest decimal is 3.2. 3 and... Two tenths. So I'm going to put that one right there at the greatest and then I'm going to erase my marks because I'm still going to look at these two that have a three. Okay. All right. So I've got my greatest. So now I'm going to look at three and two hundredths and three and nine hundredths. They both have a three, so I'm looking at the hundredths. Now, if I look at three and nine hundredths, I can write that as a fraction to help me compare. I know nine hundredths is more than two hundredths. So three and two hundredths has to be smaller. Oh, wait, but I'm doing great. Okay, so it's going to be smaller. So I did not mean to cross that one out. So three point... 0, 0.09 is the next smallest. So I'm going to cross that one off. And then I'm going to erase this one. Oh, but that's the only one with the 3 that is left. So 3 and 2 hundredths would have to be your next smallest. Okay. So... Um, 3 and 2 hundredths, remember, it's the same as 3 decimal point zero 0.02. So 2 less than 9. Okay. So now my next smallest. Well, now I've got to look at these two. 2 and 92 hundredths or 2 and 2 tenths. Okay, I'm going to use this space down below so I can rewrite them and we can really look at them. So I'm going to write them both as a fraction. 2 and 92 hundredths. 2 and 2 tenths. Well, I can't compare tenths to hundredths. So I'm going to go ahead and change 2 tenths to 20 hundredths because that's what we've been practicing for a couple weeks now. And just like in our warm-up today, you should be able to do that in your head now. Now I can think, okay, which is greater, 92 hundredths or 20 hundredths? Well, 92 hundredths. So this is our next biggest number. But it's written as a decimal, so I'm going to write 2 decimal point 9 2 which leaves us with our smallest, which is 2 and 2 tenths.
All right, for number two, you just had to pick any of the numbers and write a true comparison statement. So, for example, if I have two and two tenths that I'm comparing to two and 92 hundredths, um, I'm going to make my greater than sign facing the bigger number. Think of it just like Jaws or an alligator. He's going to eat the bigger one, okay? So um, basically you had to just use two of those numbers. It could have been any of them and you had to compare. One common mistake that I saw was um, kids took three and two hundredths, that was this one, and they compared it to three and two tenths, and they said it was equal. Guys, these are not equal. This decimal has two tiny hundredths, this decimal has two long sticks. So three and two tenths is greater. All right, guys, that was our cool down for today.